Thursday. I'm on my way to the office and I wanted to give you guys a quick OOTD and share with you guys quickly some new jewelry pieces which are actually very very affordable and if you live in Germany check them out because they're having a sale right now and again they're very affordable and super on brand cute jewelry which is trending right now. So I'm going to show you guys this ring. We have seen the oh my god my hands. Let's not do that. All right, take number two. So I got this ring. It's from this brand called Dorose. I hope that's how it's pronounced, Dorose. And we have seen this type of ring all over Pinterest and I finally have it. I wish I got it in a little bit of a bigger size so that I can put it like on this finger, but it's too small. So I'm gonna put it on the ring finger on the right hand and how cute is this so cute and then that same brand i got this z necklace you guys know i love my z necklaces and i thought this was so different like i have another one where it spells out my name so it kind of looks like this and then now i have this really really nice one it's in like a plain chain and then if it will focus just this letter z so i think that's basically all of the new pieces which I got, but definitely check out this brand. They are very, very affordable, like I mentioned, and I feel like the jewelry pieces are really nice, so definitely give them a check out. This is my outfit of the day. I'm wearing this blazer, which I got on sale from this very, very random store. It was like a child store, but then they had a bit of adult clothing. It was around Black Friday as well, and I got this for, I think, like, 12 euros when it was originally I think a hundred or so and I do not know why they're selling that type of clothing in a child store but I got this and it was very very affordable so love it it's in this like checkered type of style and then I'm just wearing a black long sleeve my jeans from where are these from oh my god I can't remember but they're from this Turkish up-and-coming Turkish site which I really really love and then this is kind of the outfit they're like really oversized and then they have a slit on the side and they're kind of baggy so it gives this look or it tones this look down a little bit and then for the scents i do have a scent tray because i have a huge collection now so i try to try to have like a scent tray of the like the perfume combo that i want to wear for the next day just so that it's not confusing and not overwhelming the next day so i've shared this before but this is my creme brulee body mist um this is from le monde gourmand this is 10 out of 10 love i have backups of backups of this because it smells amazing and i heard that this is like limited edition or they're not making any more like producing anymore so i'm stocking up and obviously the scent for today is going to be like a creme brulee base i wore this scent combo yesterday i also went to the office and i loved it i got a compliment for the girl that's sitting next to me and she's just like is that you like what are you wearing like da 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 and yeah i told her i was wearing creme brulee so like creme brulee on creme brulee on creme brulee so that is like my base scent is this body mist hair mist and then i like to top it off with this new scent in my collection it's by la capuche delicious creme brulee or delicious delicious creme brulee guys this is amazing and by now you should have already seen my new perfume video where i talk about this fragrance oh my god it's amazing and it's very crazy of me to be topping creme brulee on top of creme brulee. I basically could have done creme brulee and vanilla or creme brulee and something else, but I actually like that whole creme brulee scent. So I'm going to be topping it off with Mesa Mataha Escapade Gourmand, which is also everything here. Like all of these, these three basically, 10 out of 10. And I layer it with this um, caramel body lotion which i got from amazon in the states perfect just perfect combination everything just flows together that was a lot but that's how you get to smell good literally all day it's like super dark
Hi guys, happy Sunday. It was a long weekend, I'm sure. I'm sure I mentioned that hopefully at the beginning of this vlog. So in Berlin, Friday, we had off because it's International Women's Day. And thank you, Berlin, for making that a actual public holiday. So it's a long weekend. Today is Sunday, just finished working out. I'm getting back into this like regular working out routine type thing. And so showered, washed my hair, and now I'm making us lunch. Um, which should have been breakfast actually. So this is gonna be like a chopped bagel. I got the recipe from TikTok, but anyways, chopped bagel with some avocado, cucumber, salmon, cream cheese, onions, all of that. And I'm gonna show you guys how I make it and maybe how I adjust the recipe. I picked up these disgusting bagels from Edeka. I don't know what it is about German culture, but you guys are not investing in bagels. You guys love bread, so let's invest in bagels. Long Island, we go hard for our bagels, and these bagels here, they're trash. Anyways, so let me tilt the camera down and show you guys how we're gonna do this. So as you guys heard, the air fryer just went off. I already cut open my bagels because as I said, Long Islanders, we know how to toast bagels. So I'm gonna toast my bagel with it already cut. I'm gonna put them in the air fryer. I'm gonna keep the temp super, super low until I chop up everything. But putting in the bagels just like this. I also bought some garlic butter here. This is also gonna go on the bagel after it's toasted. This is handheld Zoe coming in from Seattle, Washington. Like I literally should have vlogged the whole process, but it was such a long travel. Yeah, okay. So it was such a long travel from Berlin. Um, I had a layover in Paris and then Paris directly to Seattle. And, um, and that was about like nine hours and 40. So really nothing to vlog, but it was just a journey. But I'm happy to be here. As per usual, I'm gonna give you guys a room tour. And this is like bad vlogging, but I literally should have just done a Seattle vlog. Now this is just gonna be in the other vlog just because I feel like there wasn't enough content. So I'm just gonna bring the Seattle vlog into this whole thing. So it is gonna be a travel vlog. From this point on my mom is also coming so we're gonna have like a little girls trip see the city she's also obsessed with twilight and so was i like back 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 in the day until you know hearing about the controversy of the author and everything but we love twilight and so she really always wanted to go to seattle just to kind of experience that like bella thing and so maybe we might do some like a twilight tour or something i don't know i have to look into it but let me just jump into the hotel tour i am with my legit camera this trip so it might be shaky footage okay so this is the entrance this is the bathroom very very standard but quite spacious actually this is me my very cozy travel outfit when you exit the bathroom again they're giving like the last time i was in atlanta as well they gave this like connecting room and i don't understand why they keep doing that in here we have the closet and safe as per hotel usual there is a mirror and there is me exhausted from like 12 hours of traveling 
here is the room i've kind of already set up what i appreciate about this hotel room is that there's so many floor length mirrors which was missing in the other hotel so i'm enjoying that so there is a desk there's two chairs it's sunny the weather here is so so nice two beds I literally love that. Good afternoon. And then this is the view of outside. Look at these curtains, they're raggedy. I'm not expecting that from Marriott, but look at that, that's raggedy as hell. Anyways, this is, this is the view. The guy definitely said I had like a bay view and there is literally no bay view. Okay, I think I'm gonna freshen up. I'm gonna have a shower. And then I'm gonna go get lunch because I'm so so hungry and I have some stories of Seattle I'm a little bit scared to kind of like go out by myself because I was here before alone and I almost got attacked by a homeless person actually I woke up super super early because of the jet lag and I wanted to check out like Pike Market I wanted to check out the Bay I wanted to go there so I went like very very early like 6 a.m. And yeah, almost got literally attacked by a homeless man. He literally followed me and I was running at some point and thank God I reached the bay. And then like honestly, Seattle, I really like it, but that moment has kind of marred how I view safety here. Even though after that I had no more incidents, nothing ever happened and it was also a weekend. And then the weekdays, it's like filled with all these business people and it was just filled with people. So I didn't really feel that unsafe. But like, seriously, that moment still kind of like is in the back of my head and I'm still kind of alone right now. So I don't know, but I'm going to get ready, like I mentioned, and I'm going to bring the camera along and try to get some clips of where I go, what I do, what I eat, all of that.